Nasıl kalın be atak oraya. from uh, the film here so uh, uh, I would like to have I have two actors it's uh, Molly Lebanon and uh, Eva Melander who plays the mothers in the film and, uh, I also have uh, my two grand producers <laughs> yeah Welcome once again. Um, we did start a little late, a couple of minutes late, but we do still have some time for a Q&A. Uh, I think I should, I, I wanted to make, I, I want to have a character that's uh, in some kind of way symbolic, like a priest role piece, but I, I really wanted to make it more like a coward. Like and have a lot of fears, um, so for me it's more that he's uh, afraid uh, than that he's just a bad guy choosing the other side. Yeah, yeah we chose really early when we worked with the script that. Uh, I found it not interesting just to show uh, the girl as a victim because I think this film is more about uh, that they are both victims from for the grown-up society in some kind of way. So uh, we chose that really early when we work with the script, and uh, well, then. Unfortunately, I cut away a lot of scenes, so <laughs> it's, it was so long in the beginning. So, so but I think it's kind of 50-50 in the film still. Uh, well, I, I think we worked some years with the script and uh, did a lot of research, and um, then usually I start really early with casting because it's really important and uh, I usually are doing the casting I have a of course I have people working but I'm on all the casting myself to meet the actors so it takes really long time to do the casting to do it. and uh, yeah everything takes a long time <laughs> so uh, and uh, the shooting was um, 35 days, and um, I think we shoot, we shoot a lot in the night time because this is like North Sweden in the uh, beginning of spring, summer, and it's so light all the time, I mean the whole. So we shoot at night time always when we were outside, and then we had, a, me and the photographer had a plan to uh, when we shoot inside, we wanted to keep it really dark. Uh, because uh, when it's so light all the time, people have so much curtains and stuff like that. Just to keep the light out on the night time. So that was also a shoes in, in yeah, the photography. Um, yeah. And I, I, I think I can speak about ages, about <laughs> how much we work with this film, so maybe you should ask more questions. victim because when I uh, I always get surprised um, from people that has a kind of harsh time that those are the people that actually are the happiest ones I mean or seems to be so they, they fight more for so I, I try to bring that in and um, um, <coughs> Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. yeah I, I agree with that. And also it's it's like to, to find the positive uh, projects of the character because everyone is always acting for good. 
even though it doesn't look like it. But that's how I worked to, uh, yeah, to 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 get the positive uh, projects going. Yeah, and um, I think uh, the mother I played is. I could feel that she was uh, in the society. She was. She had all these friends, and all the um, the husband was working um, with all the men in the village. And so I thought it was hard to. Um, I didn't like that she was so scared. I mean, liked or not, it, it doesn't matter what I think or feel <laughs> actually. But um, that was uh, interesting. Um, uplift, sorry, um, project. Yeah, to experience that, to find, to be on top, but so scared, and you just make those people um, go with your thing. Uh, yeah, usually I I have a lot of uh, speeches with the uh, actors. Long before we start shooting, we discuss a lot about the character, about people we know really well. <laughs> you sort of use them in in films, so we, you know, you speak a lot about how do this pe person drink coffee and everything. Just to you have to know it even if you don't see it in the film. So, so that's how we work. That was a good explanation, I think. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I like to have, I like to do films that, you know, end with questions in some kind of way. It's more interesting, I think, than to just give an answer. But, and uh, I, I wanted to have the feeling that, uh, I think Jennifer is really, she's so strong to uh, put up with all these grown-up people doing all this stuff in the whole film. And so we, I, I put in the music actually to have a, like a rising feeling of her. I don't know if you <coughs> feel that. I mean, in some kind of way it's sad, but uh, for me it's more like I have a thought that Oh, she's gonna rise, she's gonna manage to have a life anyway. But the society is gonna do the same all over again. Uh, no, I, I, for me, uh, when I have an audience, I think it's really good if you have different thoughts about the film. So it's not any. Uh, it's not only one way of seeing a film, uh, but for me, I, I think it. Uh, uh, when we did research about uh, boys like this, um, I felt that uh, it was interesting, but because it was hard to find a lot of such good, such a lot of background. I couldn't feel. I couldn't find a pattern uh, that was the same. But usually, those guys was having a normal life, and uh, I thought that was kind of interesting. And I wanted the audience to feel the same that the village feeling that oh, he's a kind of normal guy, and that's why I chose to make him. Miss. The victim, and I think the film is more also about uh, the grown-up doing all the <laughs> bad choices. So that's what what I want to concentrate on. Um, thank you so much for the questions. Thank you so much for